been the nucleus for learning for over 60 years. Many of our finest regional and global leaders, from Prime Ministers to Nobel Prize winners, have walked these halls. Today, the University of the West Indies has centers in 15 Caribbean countries, collaborative links with over 100 institutions, over 80 accredited programs, and more than 80,000 graduates. For me, UE is always a first choice because I was interested in doing a degree in management studies. It was available right here locally. I found that having that first degree out of UE positioned me well and opened the right doors not only to continue my further studies, but also on the basis of, from a career point of view, a professional perspective. From a class of 33 pioneers from the Caribbean who began their medical studies at the Mona campus in Jamaica, UWI has grown into a multi-campus institution. Our graduates are leaders in every industry, from the arts to science and agriculture, from law to business. We were formed in 1948 at a time when we were colonies. But thankfully, our founding fathers were thinking about an institution that would take us into this independence era. And in reflecting on this, and I might be biased, I would have to say that UWI has performed marvelously in terms of producing the leaders of this region. Pioneers like cricket great Sir Frank Worrell, Nobel Prize winner in economics Sir Arthur Lewis, and Nobel laureate poet Derek Walcott have helped create the place we fondly call UWE. There is probably not a single sector in any English-speaking Caribbean country in which you will not find a graduate of the University of the West Indies as a leader. Um, and this is speaking of our governments, it's speaking of our private sector, our businesses, it is speaking of the legal field and the education field. Wherever you go, you will find that they are major players. We are, of course, proudest of the fact that 14 prime ministers, uh, past and present, have been graduates of the University of the West Indies. And UWI will continue to build bridges to Caribbean development through teaching, outreach, and research. In every area of human endeavor, and every area that is of importance to the Caribbean, you will find the university carrying out research. For decades, the UWI gave opportunities to those who may not have been able to afford a quality university education. I think I had no choice but UWE. I, my background would not have allowed me to afford anything. Um, college, which is university in, in the United States or the UK, it's extremely expensive. And um, I'd say for most people um, who were growing up with me, my dad was a bus driver, on, under no circumstances would we be able to afford to go abroad for tertiary education. I still feel that, you know, it was the confidence that I got from UWE that allowed me to say, I can go and I can do it and I could head there and aim high. A true melting pot of ideas and people, the regional university helped break through barriers of color class and even gender. The world is recognizing that women have a contribution to make, not just at the middle management level, not just at the executive level, but also at the CEO level. More importantly, UWI has succeeded where others may have failed and brought us closer as a people, a region, so that we have a greater understanding of our world and ultimately of ourselves. The role of the university now is not just the training of nationals like me, but actually now the collaboration with those nationals. Now we have a real alumni, the collaboration with those to start to put some solutions now to some very difficult problems. If we are going to survive as a West Indian people, we have to solve our problems. And the University of the West Indies, uh, as the premier intellectual institute in the Caribbean, has to play a significant role in that. 60 decades of change for an institution that continues to take the road less traveled to develop the region.